It's Amy, and today we're gonna be baking Mary Berry from the Great British Bake Off. <laughs> A famous lemon drizzle cake, courtesy of my sister's lemon tree. Let's go. Half a cup of, half a cup of butter. Four eggs. You want the eggs and you want the butter to be room temperature, or at least a little soft. If if you don't put them out early and you forget like I did, just put them in the microwave for a little bit, a couple of seconds, turn it around, it's basically room temperature. You're gonna need some sugar, you're gonna need some salt. I like flaky salt, but I also just like salt. A lot of salt, so. You're gonna need a couple tablespoons of milk and a little bit of baking powder. Some self-freezed, self-freezing flour, which I'm gonna show you how to make in just a sec. Two small lemons or one large lemon. And if your sister has a lemon tree like mine does, just poach it from her. So as I mentioned, for this recipe, we'll be needing to use self-rising flour. I say that it is just as easy, easy to make your own. All you need is three ingredients. You need all-purpose flour, baking powder, and salt. Tell me you don't have that already in your cabinet. Self-rising flour is basically where you add uh, there's already baking powder in the flour mix, so it helps um, the cakes or breads or whatever you're using have a more even rise because it's already distributed in the flour, so you don't have to really add any extra um, rising agent. Although for this recipe, we will we'll need to do that anyway, so. So to make the self-rising flour, we're first gonna take two cups of all-purpose, add three teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and we're gonna whisk that all up with a fork to aerate it and make it nice and smooth, no lumps or crunks or anything. Step one, you're gonna wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and grease a, I think it said like a nine or 10 cup bundt pan, which I don't have. So what we're gonna do instead is just uh, grease this cake pan and this <coughs> loaf pan that I found and see if that works. Um, when greasing and flouring your pans, I think it's really important to first grease with butter or oil and then follow that up with some flour to flour it. So first we're gonna to wanna to make the lemon sugar, which means we're gonna to have to peel these lemons. Whoa, transition. And then we're gonna add those to a food processor with one and a quarter cup of sugar. Gonna pulse that until it's nice and combined and fragrant. Uh, don't mind the Sarah Alumni Homecoming beer koozie. So this is about the texture you're gonna to wanna to look for. It's a little bit moist, a little bit clumpy, but oh my God, does it smell amazing. Just smells like lemony sugar. So I've chopped up my butter into little pieces to make it easier and we're gonna mix it with the uh, lemon sugar we just made in an electric stand mixer with a whisk attachment. So as you can see, my batter unfortunately curdled on me. I didn't take out the eggs, milk, and butter early enough and they weren't at room temperature. So when I tried to combine the eggs with the butter, it turned into this. So basically in the future, what you can do to help it is just add a little bit of flour and keep carrying on. So after you introduce the baking powder, you're gonna to wanna to start adding the self-raising flour bit by bit, mixing each at a time, but you don't wanna over mix because this is gonna make your batter all tough. So you're gonna to wanna to add your icing right after you take it out of the oven while it's still warm. The icing is basically just uh, sugar and lemon juice, but I made a mistake. I know, it happens. 
and my ratio of sugar to lemon was way off it was way too crystallized and as you'll see in a sec it just kind of sat on top but it still tastes great and i'll know for next time Fun power of the universe where kitchen appliances create wormholes yo what's up everyone get ready for the great jenny bake off it's me jenny in my kitchen welcome to my home today we're gonna be going to france bonjour we're gonna be making tiny seas don't know if that's pronounced right but here we go now that we got the ingredients, let's bake. Right, just in case, printed out the ingredients. Let's see. First, one half cup of all purpose flour. Kind of just fold it in. Close enough. People on the actual Great British Bake Off would probably be like, why is this girl doing this? Why is this girl even allowed near an oven? Um, you know what? I live on the edge a little bit. So, half a cup, splat, a little bit more. Cool. Again, who needs measuring? Salt, salt, little saltiness. Yeah. Good enough for me. I'm telling you, these are gonna be good, like have faith in the process. A cup plus three tablespoons of almond flour. The OG. This is what makes it bueno. I wanna go to Paris so bad. I think that's the number one on my bucket list to go to the Louvre. I wanna see all the art and shop the fashion district of oh, my dreams come true, but a girl can dream. Okay, got the half cup. Basically there, guys. Like, I think I'm getting pretty, I'm getting closer for my measurements. Bruh. So, let's see. Half a cup of granulated sugar. Well, didn't have enough sugar. Oops. A third cup confectionery sugar. Third cup. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Coffee break. This is not sponsored by Stars, but... Starves if you want to hit a girl up. After that interlude, um, let's see. One teaspoon of almond extract. Don't really have a lot left. I'm just gonna put, put all of it in. Oh my god, that's so strong. Thanks, Bess. Slightly skincare. Three large egg whites, room temperature. Try to crack it open with one hand. Oh my god, how do people do this? Okay. Any assistance that is impossible if you can crack an egg open with one hand that's like witchcraft go to hogwarts mr potter five hundred thousand points from gryffindor okay Three. oh my god i'm making a mess wait crap i made a mistake you witnessed me putting in the dry and wet ingredients together too soon. Crap. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> I see an eggshell. No. Okay. Forever, like, my friends are watching. If I make something, just don't eat it. It's a risk. I sauce up the unsalted butter. Pour it all into my mixture that I don't know what's going on anymore. Yay! <laughs> we love baking! Throw it up, throw it up. Fall Watch it all fall out. Throw it up, throw it up. Test. So good. <laughs>